Hi, fitness friends. I'm AquaFit Coach Stacy, and welcome to my core cardio with focus on abs, hips, and glutes. For today's workout, no equipment is necessary. Nothing. Nope. Not unless you want to add something, but you can feel free to set up closer to that wall. You may need it for some balance support. You can do this workout in the shallow area and it's good for all levels. I'm going to give you options to make it more. This is interval style, but we're going to start with our warm up. Let's begin with a strong jog, tall posture, shoulders back and down. hope you're ready for a good time and a great workout. Today, we're going to be doing interval style of work to rest ratios, and we're going to try to challenge our bodies. So let's get that warm up going a little bit more here, and let's change it up. Start bringing those legs in front of you into some heel digs or some small kicks forward. Keep your tallest posture here. Put the hands on the hips there or on the wall for support. bringing those heels up behind you into some butt kickers. Remember, you're just trying to bend that knee to bring the feet up behind and then add some reach and pull with the hands. So grab the water, pull back, keep those shoulders down. Okay, let's bring those hands in the front a bit more at the surface. And we're gonna start working on those legs a little bit more, bringing those butt kickers inward behind you. So going across the midline behind. And we're gonna open and close those hands at the surface. So you can do almost like a chest tap there. My palms are down, I'm just slicing through the water. And again, shoulders relax. Try to go a little deeper into that movement. Hands back to the hips, start bringing those knees in front for a high knee jog. Use your abs to pull those knees up so they become parallel to the pool surface. While keeping those hips forward, let's tick tock the legs wide. So keep them wide and just tick tock them, start it into a pendulum. And let's take those hands and move them the opposite way of the leg that's lifting. So push and pull the water side to side there. Slow it down, ground your feet using your best posture. We're gonna take this into some long legs in front here. So we're gonna reach the right, the left long leg in front. And I want you to reach out with the opposite arm, trying to go across the body towards those toes. You don't have to touch them, just reach towards them. You can add a little bounding there if you want. I just want strong abs with this one. Just one or two more, then give me a gentle jog. We've completed our warm up and we are ready for our work phase. There are gonna be 13 moves of 45 seconds work on each of those moves. Let's begin with jack legs. I want you to jack, but also lean slightly to the right when you jack, so that way your left hip can lift. So you're gonna be putting a little bit more into that right side. This is number one, jack and hip abduction, left side. So as you jack, I want you to continue to lift that leg out to the side and reach to the opposite side. So you're making a half of an X shape. Use those abs to reach even bigger and try to keep those toes forward. Last one, and then time for a little recovery. Just keep with those jack legs, take a big breath, reset that posture. We're gonna do that again, but you're gonna be on the other side. Mm -hmm. 
time to start leaning a little bit more into that left leg. Keep that knee soft as you do. Use those abs. And we're going to start lifting that right foot off the floor as you jack. You're going to reach out to the left side. And again, we're trying to reach through the full body on these. Keep those abs engaged and shoulders down. Last one, then give me a gentle recovery jog. Take a deep breath again. Are you ready for number three? This one you might need the wall support. Anchor your left foot down and then engage those abs and let's use that right side to do a kick forward and then a kick back. You can use your hands on the wall for support or you can use running arms there. And as you get it, I wanna see a little bit more bounding. So you're gonna to try to bound with the standing leg. You can always stay grounded for no impact though. You're about halfway, let's bring up that intensity, make that water move even bigger. Let's take a breather. Give me a gentle jog for a moment. Reset that posture. And then we're gonna set it up for that same move on the other side. So we're gonna ground on the right foot. The left side's gonna be doing the motion. You're gonna try to get your balance real strong here. Starting slow. Once you've got that movement, let's get it bigger and bigger. And let's go through it with those running arms, add that bounding, and let's go. Make that last one right here. Great job. Now we'll bring it down with the cardio just a little bit on this next one, but we're still gonna be toning those abs here. So let's stay as tall as we can, put those arms out into a T shape. Number five, long leg lift core rotations. Stay tall as you bring those long legs in front and reach the opposite hand across that lifting foot. Ready to bring up the cardio again with number six. This is jack wide tucks. Hands can be on those hips and we're just gonna jack open, tuck wide, land wide, and then close the legs. Get those started and then I'm gonna show you another option in just a moment. For those who want more, option two is to jack 
wide and then just tuck the knees in wide and then land wide, tuck wide, land wide. And for even more, option three, start with those arms in a T-shape. And as you tuck, you're gonna squeeze those arms together, bend and extend. So we're doing like a chest tap in front and we're making a lot of waves with this one. Here's your last one. Excellent job. Give yourself a little pat on the back there. Well done. Let's take a small break so you can grab some water and do some gentle stretching there if you need to. We're halfway through. Come on back with that energy. For number seven, we're gonna do angled in butt kickers and we'll stay one-sided just on that left side first. So we're gonna do a left butt kicker, but come across that midline like we did before. You're gonna use that right hand to sweep down and almost like you're clapping on the bottom of your foot. So I want a big squeeze. And then once you got it, you can even add a little bounding into this motion. I want you to go quick on this one. Last one, and let's do a, just a gentle butt kicker or even just a jog for a moment. Catch your breath, reset your posture, put those shoulders down. We're gonna set it up for that next one being the same thing, just on the other side. Number eight, start bringing that right foot up behind with that butt kicker, angle it in, and you're gonna use that left arm. You're gonna start it out long to the side, and we're gonna try to come down and try to clap that bottom. You're trying to push down towards it. You don't have to touch it, just kind of bring it down, give it a squeeze to use those sides. We're trying to work the core and get those hips a great workout, and we're gonna feel those glutes too. Just one more time and let's take that to a jog. Big breath, reset your posture. Start setting up for number nine by doing a side to side movement. Just step side, right side to the left. Hands can be on those hips or I'll give you more options in a moment. These are gonna be side to side moguls. We're gonna be doing some hopping from side to side and you have the option of just doing the step here if you prefer. For more, you're gonna sink down into those legs into almost like a static squat. And I'm gonna have you keep those feet semi-open. And we're gonna hop from the right to the left, right and left. And it's gonna be a small movement because of the water. It's not gonna make you be able to go very far. You're gonna keep the hands in front for resistance and they're straight ahead. Keep hips forward and no rotation in the core. Nice work. Let's take that to a gentle jog first. Again, we always wanna reset the posture, take a big cleansing breath and get set up for number 10. We can start with some heel digs forward. This one's similar to one we've done before, which is your long legs forward, Frankenstein leg lifts, but we're not gonna use anything but our core muscles here. And we're gonna add more bounding to it. I want it more cardio style. So right, left, long legs, if you need balance support, hold the wall or put those arms out in a T-shape and let's get our cardio on.
what great effort. Let's take that down to a gentle jog as we set up for our number 11. It's gonna look a little similar to another one we already did. A butt kicker angled in on the, the right side, but we're adding on to it. So we're gonna do the butt kicker right side. Then after the butt kicker, we're gonna add a tap across in the front or a hacky sack. And each time we're gonna try to use the opposite arm to tap the sole of your foot there. So bring it inward and behind and inward in front. Use your abs and stay tall, don't round forward. Super job. Let's just jog it out for a moment. Rest the hips here. Set up for number 12, left side butt kickers with the angled in and then a hacky sack. And remember, you can always keep the range of motion lower or smaller, and you can always do without the bounding if you want less impact. Start bringing the intensity up, bring those feet higher and let's go bigger. Just one more and then ground those feet underneath your hips. We're gonna do some squats here, so use your best posture, but we're gonna add some intensity because this is our number 13 bounding squats. So just bend those knees and sit back into the hips. And then as you come up, push off with both feet so you get a little lift off the bottom. Add your arms swinging by your sides to go a little bit higher. And I want you to make it a little bit more explosive as you go. So you're gonna just do like a bounding, a hop squat, hop squat, and you're gonna lift and land. And as you land, you're gonna land with soft knees. Hands can be on your hips there, or you can be using them to help propel yourself a little bit higher. Or last option, put the hands in front to add a little bit more drag resistance as you hop. Adds more splashing though. 20 seconds till we're done. And our last five, four, three, and we did it. Amazing job out there. You should be so proud of yourselves. Hopefully those hips, glutes, and thighs are feeling pretty awesome right about now. Just leave me a comment below on what you felt was your favorite move today and why. Did you just love it? Was it just intense or what was it about it? Workouts available on Etsy if you want them in print versions, especially when you're traveling or you don't have electronics nearby. And if you could please like, subscribe, and share my channel with others, I would really appreciate it. It helps support these workouts and keeps them free coming to you. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll be seeing you soon.